let's see if this will show this long draw process a little better. Maybe this camera can get it. So got this on here. So I can just kind of pull. Slightly wind it. Just like that. Flicking off the end. You can see there's a bit of twist there, so kind of what my yarn's gonna look like. Not too bad. Properly. So twist up just a wee bit more, back it off, bring it back on. Let it walk off. Just like that. Just that fast. It's like, wow. And you can get real thin and you're not tugging on it so it's not going to break. You're just causing a twist. And again, you're just lightly, I mean, just, just holding this in the other hand really light. You're just pulling and just kind of let it pull right off. You know, Cinderella spindle. Oops. Okay, that was a little bit too thin. It's like, that's thinner than thread. So I'm gonna unhook it. Pull that piece off. And I'm just gonna spin a bit here. Not a great deal. But we'll spin some. So I got a good section here. That's that splice. Get that splice off of there onto the spindle. Oh. So now we got into a bleb, just this little piece of lint causing the bleb. Spin that up a bit. Oh, ah, 
I spun it too much and it broke. Whoops, Daisy. So now, I do that. I'm just going to take that piece off and not even worry about it. So there's a limit to how much you can spin before it spins itself apart, as you can see. Have a piece of lint. Spin this up just a little bit, and that's that was also had a little tension on that that part that broke too. So. Use your hand here to have tension some. It just kind of goes out. It's it's pretty natural. It's amazing how nice that is. You can hear it flick off the end. You don't have to that kind of tension on it. tension that's the, the killer that breaks breaks everything more than the twist put a little bit of tension on there and then it didn't want to draw anymore so gotta be careful on the draft Get people with good Drafting skills. Probably have good control of that kind of stuff. And, and I'm just kind of learning. So every time you hear that hard flicking, that's just because it... I'm putting too much tension on it. So it's pretty thin. Pretty thin yarn, but in the end, that's not bad. That's like perfect for making socks off of a sock machine, which I actually have. short draw and make it long and then spin it. I just kind of So we're pretty much at the end of my bit here, so no reason to I always like to leave a little bit of tough and fluff at the end to grab onto your new piece.
But as you can see, got a nice tight little bit of yarn and that's basically what you do and then you just kind of fit it as you go um, not sure if you can spin it without first combing it but again this is just short waste from combing so you'd want to card this stuff. And that's basically what this is. It's just uh, carded bits. So we can continue a little bit. So we'll show you again. So we'll bring this around. And so we're just gonna kinda Add a little bit to the kind of blend that new piece. Nice big long piece, look at that. right out it's just so nice and it's almost it, it's almost comes out of its natural thickness too You know, super consistent, no, I'm not, but it's a technique, it takes a little, a little bit of work. So back to a little bit thinner here. Not too bad. Wondering what I'm doing here is just kind of light tension on and off. Just like that. And there you have it. It's the best I can do, best I can show you at the moment. And I hope it's good. And um, nice and thin. We'll pull some of this off again. Show a decent twist. And a fairly decent diameter. You can see a little weird spot right there. Um, but overall, it's not 
too bad if uh, if applied. So this would make some nice wool bits. Um, might even be nice for singles on a loom. Oh, see that was not what I wanted to do. And you just flip that around like that, and that's what you got. So there you go, guys. I hope you like it. And um, as always, uh, we'll have some more. And see about getting some uh, flax. This is actually yucca here. See how well this might spin up on a spindle. That'll be next. It's kind of coarse though. It's not soft like wool. Love the wool. This is like primitive. <laughs> um, but humankind lived off this kind of stuff for a long time. Even before they had all this. Um, now yak, buffalo would be perfect. That's what I want to try. Something that I can make something with, like mittens or a yak hat. Yak hat would be wonderful. Um, even a buffalo hat out of uh, buffalo fur. <clears throat> now to find a good supply of it without costing an arm and a leg. So anyway, there you have it, there you have it all, and we'll uh, talk to you later.